Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Ahmad Taufik Bahaki bin Muhammad and my number metric is B0918102796. So I am from program BMMH. My supervisor is Dr. Muhammad Zulkarnain and my project title for final year project is Experimental Study on Mechanical Performance of Coconut Fiber Polyester Panel with Aluminium Honeycomb. This is uh, my presentation online. First is introduction, second objective and scope, third is problem statement, four is literature review, five is methodology, six is result and discussion, four is uh, lastly is a conclusion and recommendation. Introduction of the experiment is to study on the mechanical performance of coconut fiber polyester panel with aluminum honeycomb. There are several types of natural fibers such as knife, jerk, hem, left hand oil palm, and bamboo that accepted from the industry to reinforce the material. The coconut fiber is a suitable as material fiber for a composite because the coconut fiber has to rebuild to withstand high impact. Background of the study. First, a natural fiber reinforced composite as a replacement to synthetic fiber such as carbon fiber. Second, the coconut fiber layer is strong, short absorbing mesh to protect the seed from damage when fallen from the tree and salt water resistant. Third is the sandwich aluminum honeycomb structure were widely applied in engineering for the for their excellent energy absorbing capacity and high strength of to mesh ratio. The objective of this study is to fabricate coconut fiber polyester composite panel reinforced with thin wall of aluminum honeycomb as sandwich specimen. Second, to obtain mechanical properties of coconut fiber polyester reinforced panel with aluminum honeycomb sandwich on factorial performance. Scope, scope of research First, collect the coconut fiber from the local product and sun dry process before apply as reinforcement. Second, sandwich the coconut fiber reinforced panel the with aluminum honeycomb. Third, the fabrication process and experiment was conducted in composite material laboratory that provide in the Faculty of Mechanical and Manufacturing Engineering, University Technical Malaysia Melaka. For the technique, the mechanical performance is analyzed lecturer three point bending test. Problem statement. First, the thin wall honeycomb process is prevalent in optimized structure mechanical performance. Second, natural fiber such as coconut fiber need to explore as the composite panel to improve thin wall honeycomb in mechanical performance. Third, lack of information regarding sandwich material between coconut fiber panel and thin wall honeycomb. Three is a little bit review that has have been studied. First, uh, to study the mechanical properties of coconut fiber coil fiber reinforced with exposure resin LW10 hash. HV953 AN by Abdul Aziz in 2014. The explanation about characteristics of mechanical properties of coconut fiber before and after reinforcement with resin. Second, the method of pressure of coconut fiber reinforced with resin and hardener. The second study on study on the, the dynamic of characteristics of coconut fiber reinforced composite by Bujan, Bujan Isaac Bujan MK Awang and AE Ismail in 2007. Is uh, the investigate the static and dynamic mechanical analysis of randomly oriented mix coconut fiber reinforced polyester for the uh, third uh, literary review the analysis of physical and mechanical properties of A300 aluminum honeycomb cross sandwich by Raj S Rajakumar Manigaram Mahanara Arumugam Basupandri in 2017. The explanation about the theoretical of AHCS panel to determine the density. Second, experimental compare of mechanical properties between aluminum and a concoct sandwich panel with equivalent metallic pig. For the first, uh, first stage review is Fletcher Behavior of Aluminum Honeycomb Cost and Risk Structure by Via Saga Mata in 2017. Evaluate the explanation is about evaluate the static lecturer stiffness of sandwich panel with different cell wall thickness, cell size, and core height. Preparation of honeycomb score section, uh, sandwich structure and face sheet according to STM standard classification. Okay, for the lastly of literary review, the experimental study on impact properties of fiber honeycomb sandwich structure by Audrey Flash with Electrical Milan Jonas in 2070. The experimental of impact test on mechanical performance of aluminum honeycomb structure with different thickness of face panel. This is my flow chart of methodology. First, start by preparing the coconut fiber, reinforce the coconut fiber with polyester resin and hardener, then sandwich the reinforcement panel with aluminum honeycomb. If success, we proceed to the 
to the factorial three point bending test. Then we obtain the mechanical properties. After that, we estimated, experimented the model analysis EMA success. If success, we have a data analysis and plotting graph. This is a uh, this material to produce the specimen. First, uh, the main the main material is coconut fiber. Second is polyester resin. Uh, uh, third is adenine, and lastly is aluminium honeycomb. This is list of equipment used. First, electrical measurement weight. Second, mouth box. Third is cutting machine. Uh, fourth is grinding machine and third is Shimazu TC and 300 universal testing machine to test a flexural test on the specimen. This is the mixture of coconut fiber and resin to form the coconut reinforcement table. The ratio of the polyester resin and hardener is 101. Okay, 0% of uh, fiber load and 0% of it fiber weight, zero, uh, 300 gram of resin weight and 3 ml of hardener. For the second specimen is 2% of uh, uh, fiber load. Uh, coconut fiber weight is 6 gram. Uh, the polyester resin weight is 294 gram and 2.9 milliliter of hardener. For the for the four percent of specimen, four percent of fiber specimen, the coconut fiber weight is 12 gram. Polyester resin weight is 28 gram and the hardener is 2.9 ml. For the lastly, the specimen with the maximum fiber load in the specimen is eight percent of fiber load. Coconut fiber weight is 24 gram, polyester resin weight is 276 gram, and the hardener used is 2.8 milliliter. The process of fabrication of the specimen is firstly by separate the brown coconut fiber, then soak and sun dry the fiber for 24 hours. Cut the fiber uh, 50 ml, uh, cover the molding box with plastic, uh, then mix uh, the uh, polyester resin and hardener according to the ratio of 101. Pour in the resin and insert the fiber by weight in the box at dimension of 5 uh, mm 300 uh, mm thickness 300 mm of feet 300 mm of length. Layer by layer and let it cure for 24 hours in the room temperature. Then we proceed to separate the surface panel for the molding box and cut, uh, cut uh, the specimen and flat, flatting the surface panel to 5 mm thickness, 60 mm width, 180 mm of length. That is consists of 80 pieces of surface panel. Then we proceed to the cut the aluminum honeycomb at dimension of 10 mm thickness, 6 mm of width, 180 mm of length, and the honeycomb is nice pieces. Okay, then we are uh, proceed to sandwich the honeycomb with surface panel, top and bottom layer using resin to glue the specimen together. The dimension of specimen is 30 mm of thickness, 60 mm of width, and 100 mm of length. That according to the ASTM G7249 non standard geometry measurement for measurement testing in factorial test. This is a dimension of a uh, surface panel, 16 mm of width, 100 and 80 mm of length and 5 mm of thickness. This is the measure of aluminum honeycomb used. It is a length of uh, 180 length, 60 uh, mm of, of width and uh, 10 mm of uh, thickness. This is the dimension of uh, sinus specimen. The specimen is according to ASTM 7249. The uh, specimen must be uh, 180 mm of length, uh, 60 mm of feet, and 30 mm of thickness. Result and discussion. From the simulation result of three point bending test in a solid wood software, we can observe that the most stress and strain happen at, at the specimen is uh, at aluminum honeycomb structure. For the factorial three point bending test, we use a Shimazu TCEN 300 investing machine. The force we use is 0. Point, the force we set is 0. 0.1 kN per mm, and the speed of the uh, speed is 2.0 mm of mean applied on the specimen. Using the STM D7249 non standard geometry, that the width of specimen must not less than twice the total thickness and not more 
then 6 times the total thickness of the specimen and the length of specimen must be equal to the support span length plus 50 mm or plus half the specimen thickness for accurate result from serial 3 point bending text. Okay, this is a, a specimen 2% of fiber load before and after the plectural test was conducted. Next is specimen for fiber load before and after the fracture test. Then lastly is, uh, is a specimen 8% fiber load uh, uh, before and after the fracture test. According to data, the according to bar graph that we can observe that the most highest of force apply on the specimen is 2% of fiber load with a uh, 0.8465 kilonewton and second higher is a 4% uh, of fiber load with a uh, 0.82812 kilonewton and the lowest of the uh, force apply to the specimen is 0.77118 kilonewton before the specimen is fractured on the bar graph uh, of the maximum stroke, we can observe that a specimen with 2% of fiber load has the high significant, significantly higher than the other specimen of 4% of fiber load uh, and 8% of fiber load. Okay, for maximum stress, we can observe from the bar graph that the highest of maximum stress happened at 2% fiber load with 4.23249 MPA and the second highest is 4% fiber load that is a 4.14059 MPA of average max stress and the most lowest is uh, happen uh, average max stress is at 8% of fiber load in speci uh, specimen that is a 3.85941 MPA we can observe that uh, the Increase of increase of fiber load will de, will will decrease the maximum stress happen in the specimen. From the bar graph maximum strain, we can observe that the most highest of maximum stress happen at the four percent of fiber load, with a forty percent of maximum stress happen, and the second highest is a eight percent fiber load, that is a four. Uh, 10% of maximum stress happen in the fiber loop with 8% of fiber loop. The lowest is at happen at the 2% of fiber 2% of fiber loop. For the young modulus of the specimen, we can observe from the bar graph that the highest of the young modulus happen at the 2% of fiber loop with a 0.5. 70837 MPA and the second is a 4% fiber load with a 0 0.7863 and lastly the lowest of the young modulus happen at specimen with fiber load of 8% with 0 0.3529596 MPA of young modulus from the bar graph bar line graph of flexure strength and yam modulus versus coconut fiber we can observe that the 2% of load fibers is the highest flexure strength and the second highest is 4% of fiber load happen at the 4% fiber and the lowest of the uh, flexure stress happen at the 8% 8% 8% of fiber load specimen and uh, the young modulus also seen uh, the increase of uh, flexure stress also increase the young modulus and the, the lowest of flexure stress is a uh, decrease of the young modulus of the specimen so you can observe that the specimen uh, with a uh, lower lower fiber load is uh, flexible and more and higher mechanical properties than the highest load of fiber specimen. In conclusion, the physical of specimen have significantly changed before and after factorial three point three point bending test. 
the force that have been applied at the middle of the specimen that the most deformation happened at the aluminum honeycomb structure. For fracture 3 point bending test, the highest fracture strength was specimen 2% fiber load and the lowest was specimen 8% of fiber load. This is because the specimen 2% of fiber load surface panel more flexible because of quantity of polyester resin load more than fiber load. The other specimen 4% of fiber load and 8% of fiber load were more brittle that were because the fiber was equal or more the quantity of polyester resin. For recommendation uh, for features, for future recommendation, uh, we can say the type of resin. There were other type resin that can be used such as thin ester resin, thermosetting polymer resin, and other resin should also be researched and studied to achieve improvement the mechanical and physical properties of com composite coconut fiber polyester with aluminum honeycomb. Second, sample fabrication. First, as for this experiment, the fiber length was 50 mm of fiber. To improve the specimen physical and mechanical properties, the coconut fiber length must increase to 20 mm to 30 mm to get better fiber bonding to the composite panel. Second, the secondly increase the specimen weight to improve the accurate result fracture 3 point bending test measurement testing as ASTM D7249 or using other standard measurement tests for sandwich panel. And lastly, decrease the thickness of composite panel and aluminum honeycomb to achieve better result of mechanical properties. Lastly, testing method. This research was just focused on fractural three-point bending test. This test method can be improved to the experiment with other test methods such as impact test, hardener test, and thermal head analysis to study on the mechanical properties or composite coconut fiber polyester panel reinforced with aluminum honey. This is a reference of my experimental. Uh, 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 thank you for the opportunities to present my final projects. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.